Hey yo, my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny5 Alive here, and welcome back to another episode of Park Spotlight. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at Project Jurassic Park, created by Mac94. So stay tuned, and let's check it out. All right, this was sent in by one of our Discord builders, Mac94, and he says here, Hello there, my name is Ryan McQueen, and I'm in charge of Engine, the company you now work for. Your job is quite simple, really. Build a park, create all attractions, and entertain guests, of course. Now, I have to I have to pause for a second, guys. This was submitted as a park spotlight, but it appears that it's also a scenario. We're going to treat it as a park spotlight here today because it does look like a finished park, and we'll talk more about that in a minute, and I'll continue on with the... The, uh, read here of course we'll be keeping an eye on you as well we'll watch your park rating and give you feedback on your performance it's up to you to make it work just build the park and populate it with guests lots of guests this will be the greatest theme park in history of the world your job is to keep the gates open and prove engine that the park is viable and safe oh yes we have a t-rex but don't forget she's a hunter <laughs> design it build it it's yours project jurassic park insert jurassic park theme song <laughs> The park comes with eight coasters, seven mini rides, two food courts, luxury hotels and apartments, and so much more. And keep an eye out for the many Vista points throughout the park. 100 hours of gameplay built on this park. This is my very first Planet Coaster creation. Hope you enjoy. For this creation, I have used some workshop items from the other creators to help build the scene of my park. I don't claim any of them. All right, guys, here's a bird's eye view of the whole park. As I mentioned, it is like a park. You have more to build on. It was, I guess it is a scenario if we look at the uh, objectives here. Problem is, it's kind of like a half-finished scenario. You have to just bring the guests in. There's enough here to attract guests. Um, so you have to get your monthly profit up. There is enough here to essentially start making a profit of once the guests get in now the problem is we're plummeting in cash right now minus four thousand and increasing per month and uh that's just because all these rides and attractions require money for upkeep and there's not a single guest in the park yet so once the guests start queuing up for these rides it'll start probably gaining you that that profit so if we were to hypothetically fast forward we get our two thousand we get our monthly goal all we need to do is build a go-kart track and uh, maybe the guest average happiness will raise over time and we have to pay off our loans and our loans here let's see what we're dealing with so a hundred thousand a hundred and one thousand so that is quite a hefty thing but based off of um, what I just said I mean we have two hundred thousands right now so we could pay off all loans done and uh, we still have ninety three thousand to build that go-kart track you can literally make it a little circle the only thing you have to do is raise the guest happiness which will increase over time once they get into the park. So there's not really much of a, a scenario here to play other than fast forwarding it to complete it, but you could still extend it. My problem is with extending it is it's already kind of closed off around the outsides. It feels like a completed park. Building on the outskirts of this will feel exactly like that, uh, an extension of outskirts to an existing park. So in my opinion, it's not the best scenario, especially because it's already running at 24 FPS on a high end gaming machine. Adding more to this is only going to bog it down. So uh, I'm not trying to detract from the park at all. I'm just thinking. I'm just trying to say I don't think it was the best choice to uh, turn it into a scenario. We did see a Jurassic Park scenario in our contest, and I think um, what was done there left enough for you to build on. However, getting into this, it does look like a pretty cool Jurassic Park. <laughs> this building here is astonishing. Really well done. Love the sign there. Um, the pens, the gates, and all that look really great. I'm hoping we'll see some uh, kind of fake dinosaurs build out of basic shapes and that sort of thing. So let's uh, just begin the tour and treat it like a park spotlight here today. Can we go in the building? Uh, that's too bad. All right, let's take a tour around the park here. River Rapids. Inside's a little messy, isn't it? Okay. The River Rapids looks like a very Jurassic Park themed ride. I'm pretty excited about that. Buildings look great. I 
Now, he did say he took some of the stuff off the workshop. I do know there are tons of dinosaurs in the workshop as well. If you guys go back to our Jurassic Park uh, Scenario Spotlight episode, you will notice there is a collection in there to essentially subscribe you to, you know, 20 plus different dinosaurs built out of basic shapes. So if you were to play this scenario and treat it like a scenario, you could continue to build some dinosaurs. And we are seeing some here. Look at that. Those are really nice. So I, I do love the concept of a Jurassic Park. Now I knew I know Frontier is working on a Jurassic Park simulation game. Um, my only concern with that game, I think it's going to be a ton of fun. I'm very excited about it, and I will play it on my channel this summer when it releases. However, um, I do not think there are any track rides that you could build, and I think that's the one thing that that game could really benefit from, and it being Frontier, they do have the technology to incorporate track rides. Uh, if I build a Jurassic Park, I definitely want to ride around in a Jeep and explore all the different areas that I've decorated and all the themes that I've done. Omnirex coaster. These coasters look like they could use a little bit of smoothing. They're quite kinky. Uh, we will reserve a judgment for when we ride them. Um, anyways, what was I saying here? Uh, the Jurassic Park game could be a lot of potential on this channel if there are rides track rides that we could build. Now, I don't think we're going to be able to build coasters, um, but at least track rides will allow us to do some Jurassic Park ride spotlights, and I think that will be a ton of fun. Um, and if we ever get... Oh, look, it's the DNA guy. <laughs> That's great. Nice little hotel. Um, if we do ever get... I'm considering Jurassic Park is going to be a thing, it would be really great if Frontier could convert some of those assets to Planet Coaster and turn them into animatronics or whatnot, so we can actually build Jurassic Park theme parks within this game. That's what I'm hoping happens, is they share their assets among their teams and get a little bit of crossover, so we can actually make these Jurassic Parks that we're seeing here today come to life a little bit better without having to make our dinosaurs out of basic shapes. But... As we saw from those couple dinosaurs back there, we can definitely do so with the basic shapes and some people are really talented at uh, recreating the anatomy of dinosaurs and stuff using those shapes. So uh, I still think it's possible and I'm still, every time I see something Jurassic Park themed, I get pretty excited and I feature it quite quickly. Um, I think, I think uh, you know, this one's a pretty good effort so far from what we've seen. I think it has a lot of potential. The coasters could use some work. Um, it's not quite a park. It's not quite a scenario. So it leaves a little bit to be desired here. Um, the, the scenario that we saw in our contest was really nice. But again, it's unfinished. So for me, I'm still waiting to see the official Jurassic Park park. <laughs> and um, I, I still think it's possible to do with what we have available to us. In the game currently so if anyone's up for the challenge please do uh, give it a go and I will definitely feature it but I'm hoping in the future it'll be a little bit easier to do so but I love seeing these kind of shots here the little thatch roofs built that way just like in Jurassic Park it's overgrown um, and then having a coaster go through it and around it these gates really good details um, yeah, I, I mean, there's tons of elements in Planet Coaster that can really sell that Jurassic Park theme. So I, I definitely think it's doable. And we're seeing uh, a lot of it done really well here today. So a quick tour while I was talking about Jurassic Park. I mean, it's not the biggest park, as we could see here. But um, it's quite fun. And I have to say, this building is definitely one of the best Jurassic Park assets that I've seen on the workshop so far. So really good job on this. And same with this River Rapids. I think that's a nice blueprint all in and itself. Looks really good. So yeah, the architecture is doable. Uh, we can build the dinosaurs out of basic shapes. I just think um, we need to bring it all together into one polished, cohesive park. Um, 
and that I'm still excited to see that so but nonetheless this is a really good one here today it kind of uh, fills that desire so um, we got a bunch of coasters to ride I think we're gonna start with the river apps though he did say there's a t-rex and I never ended up seeing one I'm maybe hoping we'll see it on one of these rides so let's start off with this river rapids guys this is the Jurassic Park river rapids there's a look at the stats if you want to see them and let's dive on into it Hey, look at that. There's our T-Rex. A very nice T-Rex created out of basic shapes. Look at the pose on that guy. That is incredible. Now, it said Dilophosaurus on the sign. I was looking around for one of them. But at least we found a T-Rex, right? That's amazing. The Jeeps are spectacular, too. Love it. Definitely, the, this this ride in itself is the best Jurassic Park ride that I have seen in Planet Coaster so far. The fact that we got a dinosaur, we got some destruction, we see the jeeps, um, the signs are really good, the immersion, like the, the, the floral and the decorations are all very Jurassic Park. Even just the color of the log flume itself here with the green and uh, I guess it's supposed to be red, but it's orange. But it, it definitely screams Jurassic Park to me. And I think it's a very good creation in and itself. It's a really good job. Oh, we beat one of the objectives. <laughs> I think we have 2,000 guests now. Yep. Okay, what's our guest happiness at? It's at 90%. <laughs> See? <laughs> uh, we didn't even do any tuning yet. So with some staff and a little bit of management, that should hit... 95 um, how's our profits doing oh we're starting to get out of the negatives here not at negative 4k anymore um, I think with some tuning like most things in Planet Coaster you could just take them and uh, like double the price $10 to go on a Ferris wheel uh, maybe not the Ferris wheel but most rides like let's see this this River Rapids here $15, you could probably charge $20 for that, and the guests won't complain. Maybe even $25, to be honest. Um, even, like, some of these coasters. 
twenty dollars is fairly cheap. The guests will probably pay up to forty, even sixty dollars for a coaster. I've never been a fan of the way the pricing works in this game, but uh, that's a discussion for another day. Let's ride some coasters. So we got the Raptor Escape. Hopefully we see some Raptors on this one here. There's the stats if you guys want to see them, and uh, let's give it a go. Coaster design needs a lot of work on this guy. I mean, you could break it down and look at the stats if you want to. It's for yourself. We go all the way up that lift. That drop is going to kill you. It needs some serious smoothing here. And um, you, you get all the speed, and all that speed just takes you up another lift. And all that momentum is lost. You go down that lift again with one of these crazy neck-breaking drops. And you're basically ride it out through a brake section. That second lift is just not necessary at all, especially for what you're experiencing there. I don't even know why the guests are going on this one, because this one would for sure be all red stats in a real simulation. Uh, or real life. It's not, it's not a healthy coaster, we'll put it that way. Uh, could use some definite improvements there, but I like the concept of the raptor. I do wish it took you through. Oh, we do have some raptors here. So yeah, I wish we got to experience that a little bit more. Ride lower to the terrain, through the jungle, past the water. You have all these really cool buildings. You could be diving under these Jurassic Park style bridges and past these really cool buildings, passing in and throughout the, uh, riding along the sides of these cages or um, fences and seeing some of those raptors as you're going through a brake section or drive wheels. So I definitely love this concept, guys. And uh, I think there's still a lot to be explored with this Jurassic Park stuff. Looking at this building here, uh, it, there's a lot that excites me about this one as well. So let's check this one out. This is the Visitor Center Ruins. Really bad <laughs> stats on this guy. Um, let's give it a go.
Alright. <laughs> Same thing on this one. I mean, I think this is going to be a running theme amongst these coasters. Is all the neck cranks and uh, bone shattering moments on these coasters. Even I don't even know how the train makes it through there without breaking into a million pieces. Um, the way it was bending just did not look healthy. Um, <laughs> but again, this one has a lot of potential with the ruins. Um, I think what would be cool is some drive wheels taking you through uh, the old Jurassic Park building. And you see some fossils and different elements that you see from the movie. And uh, just slowly looking left to right on this coaster. Even maybe a, sp a spinning coaster or a huntsman. That kind of lets you look at all the display cases and things of that nature. I think uh, the... Oh, we beat another objective. The hardest one. Um... Yeah, I think there's a lot of miss, miss potential here, but it gives me inspiration and hope for some really cool ideas like this in the future. Just needs some work. Okay, let's keep going on. What do we have here? The Avery. So this is like the uh, pterodactyl pit. Okay, so we just have one leaving the station now. Let's jump on this guy. If you guys want to see the stats there, they are... That's uh, one really slow lift that you might want to increase the speed on. I like this um, dome. Looks really cool. Oh, I had a cr <laughs> it's cracking me up. This, this is like the world's worst man-made cobra roll. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm sorry if I'm sounding mean, but uh, it's 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 I, I almost feel like the coaster design is trolling me a little bit. Um, a little bit of smoothing now for the creator um, to give you some honest feedback here. We can close this down for a second and uh, just quickly show you because I'm getting I'm getting the feeling he doesn't know about the smoothing tool. So if you grab some track like this and space it out there, you can hit smooth all, and it'll create a nice transition from point A to B, and that alone is going to make it a smoother drop, as you can see. Um, this seems to be man-made. It's a very funky how it flips you upside down like that. Um, and if you smooth all that, okay, it may not work so well on there. Maybe. I, I would honestly just use a pre-made Cobra roll. Because uh, that is a little strange. But for the most part, the smoothing trick is going to work wonders on, on some of those kind of neck crank spots that you have. And... Uh, just make all the transitions a little bit nicer. So we definitely could see that from ones over here that could use it like that. That is a... Let's see here. Edit track. Grab all this. And hit smooth all. Now it probably doesn't need that second drop. I would have just... Uh, well, you could grab this piece and, like, bring it down. This one here. Yeah, see, there's that segment. I would have just deleted that and had this one big piece. So that that's also a part of the reason for this not being able to smooth out so well is because they're small track segments. But if we were to kind of do what I just did there, we could hopefully get that a smoother transition. Wow, the camera... Has a mind of its own. Okay, so it's looking better. I would probably bank it as well, but you have so many small pieces in here, you have to individually tweak them all. 
but you get the idea. That smooth tool definitely could be used a lot more on these coaster designs so far. But your scenery work is amazing. So, um, and there's a lot of inspiration to be taken from here. So I definitely think there's a lot of good things going on in this park. So let's uh, move on to the rapid response. So this is like your uh, medical center. Or, uh, yeah, rescue center. Very cool. Next up, we have a boomerang called the Dilophosaurus Exhibit. Now, do we see any of these dinos down below? Hmm. Don't see any. Not much of a Dilophosaurus exhibit, is it? They've escaped. That's too bad. All right, so we got a boomerang at the top here. Let's jump on it. And next up is the Indominus Rex Coaster. I didn't even know that was a thing. Huh. Okay, there's the stats if you guys want to see it. Let's give this a go. <laughs> oh, it's quite hilarious watching the coaster bend like that, isn't it? We found another T-Rex! <laughs> I love it. Okay, and... One more coaster, guys. Jurassic Valley. There's the stats if you want to see them. Let's give it a ride.
Okay, um, yeah, for this one you don't even need the lift hill there, to be honest. It got so much speed, it uh, just went right right over the chains. So, um, definitely could use some work on these coaster designs. Um, I love the, what are these called? Triceratops. And these guys, don't know what they're called. Love the dinosaurs. I do think um, slowing your coasters down for the amount of lifts that you have on them, reel it back a little bit for a Jurassic Park experience so that you can kind of soak up the scenery. They don't have to be the most top speedy coasters, but I do think having one or two in there is quite a good idea. But uh, as I mentioned, guys, there's a ton of inspiration to take from this and great detailing that I think really captures the Jurassic Park theme and I would love to see some more creations done like this and you guys look around on the workshop as you saw in this creation there are a ton of good really good dinosaurs that you can use with the new adventure DLC we have a ton of new um, vines and different things and I, th I really think you can capture the Jurassic Park architecture and nature perfectly and then also incorporate the different dinosaurs so I'm really loving this and I want to see more creations like this so if any Anyone's up for the challenge you will get that immediate spotlight because uh, you know I'm a big fan of Jurassic Park and we got the game coming out soon so it's always good to build up some hype so there you go everybody that's gonna do it for this episode of Park Spotlight if you guys enjoy please be sure to smash that like button if you're new to the channel subscribe for more daily planet coaster videos and if you'd like to support the show to keep it going you could do so by becoming a patron all right everybody thank you guys so much for watching I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you in the next video bye now